Gaming Essentials Part 3 Keyboards Hi guys and welcome to yet another video. If you watched the previous part before this, you must be wondering right now, where's the video about keyboard? Why is it the last one? And shouldn't a keyboard be more important than an audio devices? And while that's true, it is more important, the fact is, keyboard is the least important upgrade you can actually make. And to know why, let's dive into what we'll need to look out for when buying keyboard. First is switch, second is size, and third is the extras, as usual. Now for the first point, switch. Although this is the defining factor for your keyboard experience, it is also a very subjective matter that depends on your taste. Here's some reference though. The first type of switch is a clicky one. It has both the tactility and the clicky sound of a typewriter. So if you ever use one, you basically know how a clicky switch would sound and feel. The most well-known clicky switch would be cherry blue or also known as blue switches. Now the second type of switch would be tactile. It's basically a clicky switch without the click sound. So typewriter without clicks. The easiest example would be cherry brown because it is the most well-known tactile switch. Honestly speaking though, brown switches are hardly tactile. Now don't get me wrong, it is still an improvement overall when you compare it to a membrane but when you compare brown to the blue switches, the difference becomes quite apparent. The last type of switch would be the linear one. Basically, no sound, no tactility. When you press it, it goes straight down to the bottom, no bump. Cherry red or also known as red switch is the easiest example that comes in mind. Second factor when deciding which keyboard is the right one for you would be size. Just pick the one that suits your needs. Do you need a numpad? Then get a full size keyboard. Do you need more space for your mouse? TKL is probably a good middle ground. And to those who don't understand, TKL means 10 keyless and it refers to the lack of numpad. If you are desperately lacking for an actual mouse space, 60 or 65% is probably your best bet. It only has the essentials, no numpad, and no F keys. And the third factor will be extras as usual. Things like detachable cables, wireless capability, hot swappable switches, RGB, etc. etc. Now, this is usually the part where I say my conclusion and end the video. But there's actually another side to the whole keyboard life than what it seems. And that is the custom keyboard community. Unlike mouse and sound system where you can technically customize and make your own, custom keyboard is actually much more accessible, albeit still quite niche, hobby that can actually impact your keyboard experience a lot. You can basically change every part of your keyboard with something unique, whether it's your keycaps, plates, case, LEDs, PCBs, and most importantly, the switches. And although Cherry is probably the usual go-to for beginners or people who don't know much about mechanical switches, there are actually tons of unique options out there, each with their own looks and features. And the best way to find the right one for you would be to do your own research, find the reviews, and of course, trying them out yourself. Now for the actual conclusion. Gaming keyboard. Do you really need one? If you've been paying attention to what I said before, no you don't, because I never mentioned gaming, not even once. What you need is a good keyboard, just like when we talk about the audio devices. If it's good, it's good enough for gaming. When we talk about gaming mouse, it is an improvement to go from an office mouse to an actual gaming mouse. But the difference is, this is a keyboard and when you talk about it, you can just get any mechanical keyboards and they will actually perform the same. Why? Because the switch that they use are usually the same as well. The only exception I can think of where you should be thinking about the gaming brand is when you are considering for a wireless keyboard. 
because wireless technology in gaming brands usually does offer better experience when compared to a normal wireless keyboard meant for work. So stick around for my future videos where I'll be diving more into wireless technology in gaming peripherals. Alright guys, I hope you all find this part 3 informative. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button to be notified for my next video. And if you want to voice your opinion, then don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and be seeing you on the next occasion. Save my town. And Montez died in the conflict. Exactly. He, uh, died in the conflict. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. In towns, it's the sheriffs that run things. But we help out where we can. Thank you. You've been a great help in all this business. It's been my pleasure. I hope to see you again. <laughs>